r slash ask reddit bosses of reddit what do your employees think you don't notice but you really do when they do the shitty little mundane slash gross slash boring slash tedious tasks that need doing but no one else does i see you going the extra mile bro and i'm all let the supervisors know you're better than everyone else when they are on facebook or browsing the web the natural reaction to someone approaching your desk is not a furious flurry of clicking and your eyes bulging. Edit. To clarify, I do agree with the majority. If you're getting your work done and aren't on obvious NSFW sites, I'm not gonna give you a hard time about it. It's more entertaining to watch the panic. One time when I was drunk at one of my employees birthday party I told him about the time I killed a guy. He thinks I don't remember it, but I do. He seems to respect me more, though. Employee was smoking a joint around the back of the site. It was late in his shift. He's one of our best guys. We were only passing time as there was nothing to do, and it wasn't news to me. He liked some pot here and there, so I just walked up the other end of the site and left it at that. My facility has overnight shifts. Employees honestly think I don't notice when they're asleep when I arrive in the morning. I come in at 5am. Me, hey, I know it can be really difficult, but please do try to stay awake, okay? Employee, I was awake. Me, you were snoring when I came in. Employee, I don't remember that. Me, that's because you were unconscious. Actual conversation. Also, I know you're on your phone all day. I don't care. Just be discreet, so I don't get in trouble when my boss sees you doing it. We see it all. You just have to pick your battles sometimes. This. The company receptionist directly reports to me. I fired her ass because of her attitude and her poor performance. People keep saying it's because she's still young, 22 years old, but I say duck it. The moment you start working is the moment you should mature and grow up. I have no time for employees who can't take constructive criticism and retaliates on social media because she feels she's being attacked personally. I gave her enough chances to improve, but I guess her entitled ass thinks she's too perfect to change. For more context, several corrective actions was done in a proper manner. She was given an additional 6 months to improve, and she chose not to. There was no lack in guidance from our part. We work for a global company, and seeing that she posts racial slurs on her Facebook page was not acceptable. I don't really care that she calls me names on her Facebook as well. At the end of the day, the right to keep her job will depend on her performance and attitude. Also, she threatened to physically hurt me for being unfair. What was the cause of termination? Here's a few. Would rather go on social media and watch YouTube videos than work. I had her internet access removed, but then she replaced it with a coloring book. Released several PC units to the courier with no receiving copy. Just gate passes, so technically she gave the PCs away like peanuts. She lost and misplaced documents, and would not filter them as they arrived. So we find documents on each other's pigeonholes. Lost and misplaced security access cards, and refused to pay for them. I told her from the very start to have people received it, but she did not listen. Tardiness and absences. The inability to accept constructive criticism which resulted in her awful attitude. Military officer here. I see it all. The things they're proud of, ashamed of, happy about, sad about. I see when they want to be better, but they recognize they are not, and the ones who think they're awesome, but are really just slacking and ruining the system for everyone. I'm 26 and I've had to look people in the eye, who are older than me, and have families, and tell them they're on their way out of the army, sometimes for reasons I saw, that they didn't think I saw, and not always bad, just slacking compared to peers, and sometimes for no good reason at all. That they take extra long lunches it's no big deal usually 5 to 10 minutes, but not every day. That taking a dump can take up to 20 minutes every time. I know they browse reddit and other sites, while they are there I don't care. That two guys usually comes in late on Monday every week, and has their friends at work cover for them. That they talk shit about me behind my back sometimes. One girl that works under me is amazing she doesn't think I know, because no one has told me, but it's fairly easy to see. If I set her on a task I know it will be done on time, and that she usually goes the extra mile so to speak.
she is going to get a raise coming January and I will give to her retroactively from August this year. For different reasons. First of all she is already underpaid, she is also pregnant with her first child and her boyfriend is not making a lot of money, he is in arts. I heard that two workers are planning to get some time off in February for a week, I have already made sure I have that covered, so I don't have to say no, because they are really looking forward to it. A few years ago two Muslims started working for me, they didn't think I noticed that they took time off to pray, usually around 15 to 20 minutes a day, I planned to bring it up, but they came to me and told me, so they are now allowed to pray at work, as long as they are willing to stay until their job is done, if needed this has happened a few times and they have never complained about that. I also know that one of my employees has a alcohol problem. And I'm also making sure that I can cover it as his boss. I know that my employees has planned a big party at New Year's Eve at one of their places, so I have already laid some money aside to buy some beer and spirits for and give them. I will not attend I will just give it to them and leave. I know that often they leave work a bit early on Fridays and have one guy stay behind to punch them out. It's usually never more than 10 to 20 minutes and I don't give a damn as long as all the work is done. What my employees doesn't know about me was that I have risked my job and position twice for them. Once when we were understaffed and my boss was demanding a lot of extra work done over the weekends and I basically had to force my employees to come in and work against their will on weekends and come straight back to the job on Monday. I just refused and said to my boss, if you are unhappy with it, you can fire me I won't object. The reality was that my employees was on the verge of a mutiny basically, that they were all planning to just quit without any notification. The second time was when one my employees did a huge mistake that cost us a lot of money and my boss demanded that I told him who did it so he could fire him. I refused to tell him and he even threatened to fire me instead, but I didn't tell him. I have worked there for 5 years as a manager, I have been given the opportunity to climb several times, I have always declined, because I often see managers abuse their employees for the sake of themselves, and I don't want my employees to be abused by some brat straight out of school that doesn't have a clue what the job even entails. I spent a year on an internship in an office I hated, surrounded by dumbasses that couldn't open an excel spreadsheet. This was literally an issue for a manufacturing engineer. I tried my hardest for 6 months and wasn't given any work to do. Even after I asked and pestered, I literally sat there twiddling my thumbs, a massively safety restricted site, so I couldn't just go and pick up work. All these things in this thread, I did and I feel bad about them but my word, doesn't it tell you something about working conditions, if your employees are doing things like that, slacking rather than enjoying their work, shift responsibilities, go and give them something to break the monotony of the day, invite them to talk about career advice or progression, in your company or not, go out to a Friday lunch. When I walk by and you're slacking. It's not normal for you to be scared to see me, I'm friendly and praise work. And, really, I don't give a shit if you're slacking, if you get your work done on time. Who's ducking who? Seriously, guys, they're work computers, work network, work ducking chat accounts. Exactly what the loudmouths think about everyone in the hierarchy especially myself and their direct supervisor. See above. And who wiped shit on the bathroom walls and door handle. What I do not know is who to get to go to his home and wipe shit on his bathroom door handle. The look in their eyes when I ask them to do something. It's drastically changed since I took over. My team would scatter when the old boss came through the door because no one wanted to interact with him. It's not that he was a terrible boss. He was just, he had no filter. He said whatever came to mind. Offensive. Condescending. Just whatever. It was constant word vomit. Now, they just say yes ma'am, and smile and go about their task. No argument, no distraction, no excuses. Just, okay. They feel comfortable with me, and aren't unwilling to do something. My team rocks. They really do. They have vastly different personalities, that need to be addressed. I appreciate every single thing that they do, and I'll let them know that. Not an owner, but a manager. Answer, when people are applying for other jobs. We do permit working from home under certain circumstances, and it's when someone is WFH perhaps a couple of times a week, 
and when they are taking calls on their mobiles at work they are disappearing into a corner where they can't be overheard. But you can always tell. I don't have a problem with it, to be honest. Good luck to them. I have a live feed of the building's CCTV in my office. My employees know this. Still caught them having sex on camera. Honestly, a lot of stuff. I see when they're ducking off, or when they're working. I see when they're burying time in tickets. We are an IT company, or when they're actually doing the work. I can tell, if an employee comes into work baked, or under the influence of anything, look I like to party too, but at work, is not the time or the place. I can often tell, if an employee is having a rough time at home, I can tell, if there is something grating at their mind, and I typically pull them aside to see what's up. Look it if costs me a single day off with pay for one of my employees to get his, or her shit together, or if they're in a tough spot, and I can easily help them with something, I find that goes a long way to build loyalty. I also can tell, when morale is in the shitter, look I'm in the shit with my guys, if they're dealing with something at work, there is a good chance I'm too, and when everyone needs a break I do what I can to make things better. Bringing lunch in for the office is 200 bucks, in the scheme of things, that is practically free. Bringing in a case of beer so everyone can have a cold one at lunch on Friday, is nice to help people decompress. We see a lot more than most of our guys think. We aren't oblivious, we often just don't have a good way to solve the problems, that everyone is seeing, yet. Everything. I notice everything. I don't think they understand that most days they come in after me and I come back in the morning. So everything that is supposed to be done I see or don't see. If I walk in and it's a disaster, do they think that I won't notice? So when I came in, there were boxes on the floor and the list of tasks I needed done were incomplete. What? Really? Actual conversation. Yes really. Did it surprise you that you didn't do what I asked, so it's not done? When you're not working, and who will get viruses first? I can see all of your web traffic from my desk. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.